Now here's a family tale, one you may not have heard. <laughs> they used to, and it ain't made this sense this time, they used to make that, that, uh, Ribbon Jello salad, man, I love that. It takes three days to make it, it takes forever to make it. But I love it; it's my favorite. Well, one of the ladies at work might want at the office, Miss Nancy. Her husband was sick. I ain't one, but you know, down in the south, somebody's sick. You cook, you take to them, right? Ain't one to fix that Jello ribbon salad and took to Miss Nancy's house. And her husband was semi basically he was dying, he was sick. Really bad sick. <laughs> she took that jello ribbon salad. A couple of days later he died. <laughs> well hmm. if that wasn't bad enough my Uncle Milo, Nanny's brother, my Uncle Milo got sick. <laughs> and he was bad off, too. And, you know, anything else, he was just old. But <laughs> Aunt Londa made that jello ribbon salad and took that a couple of days later. He died. <laughs> well, my, <laughs> my cousin Kim, she was living downstate at the time. She got sick. So Aunt Catherine was going to go down because, you know, the kids was just little. Her kids had grown now, but the kids were just little then. That's been a few years ago. <laughs> Aunt Catherine was talking to him. She said, well, I'm going to come down, you know, help you out, you know, help with the kids and stuff. And she said, I'm going to tell you right now, Mama, you're not going to bring none of that damned old custard ribbon jello salad down here. Everybody you fixed it for died. <laughs> You're not bringing that mask down here. Don't you dare bring it. Of course she didn't. Hey, you know they ain't made that ribbon jello salad since. That was my favorite dessert. They ain't made it since.